Welcome back, everyone. Had a bit of a breakdown here. My phone ran out of storage. I make the mistake. I don't know why I do it, but I save all these live streams for some reason. Like, there's really nothing that I ever do with these, but I'm in the event, like, maybe I want to make a highlight video or there's something that comes up in the stream, like, oh, that, I could clip that or whatever. I can have it in better quality if I pull it from my own phone as opposed to using it from YouTube. It's a, it's a higher quality. So I save all these without really any regard for the amount of space they take up. I never do anything with this phone that I'm using to record this with other than do live streams. It's the only thing I do with it. So this, the video files just stack up for for months, you know, like I had all these live streams on here. They're just sitting there that I've never done anything with hours and hours of footage. And in the last stream, I was like, maybe just a few minutes in, I was started building this. I didn't get far. You can see my progress there. I, it, I got a message that says my internal storage is almost full. I'm like, ah, who cares? And then it's just like, I'm just going to end the stream since it's full. So now I just deleted days worth of files. And now we're, we're back and we should be good to go. Uh, so welcome everyone back in. Uh, I see everybody coming back. Welcome back. I know it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to have to, to move to a new stream, but that's what happened. If you're watching this in the future, you didn't have to endure any of that because this this will just be here forever. But I guess I should do my spiel again uh, for anyone that's watching this right now. <laughs> this is like deja vu. Right now we're finishing Lego Creator 31143, The Birdhouse. Greatest creator set of 2023. Where have I heard this before? There's two other builds. A park bench with a squirrel, a hedgehog. I've called it the hedgehog. We've got a, a bee box, a little honey, honey cove, if you will. Uh, but I'm building the primary model. I built this yesterday. <laughs> this is what I built yesterday. It's got a blue jay. It's got a robin. I've called it that. And a cardinal. I think we can all agree. And it's got a post. So I did that. Then I went a little crazy and I started building the actual birdhouse. I did build this little bird that's hatching inside. You may not have been able to see that. He's just he just poking out of there. He's creeping. And uh, I, I, I think it's adorable. This is really a, a fun set. I love Lego Ideas Birds, which is very realistic. This is like the, the fun, cartoony, whimsical version of that. So I'm happy to have it, and I'm happy to be building it here with you, and hopefully be able to finish this stream without anything going wrong. I've had a, a couple minor setbacks the last few streams. The first one yesterday was I went to go stream and my phone was completely dead. So I had to delay it and everything was fine. I ended the stream with 3% battery. I really thought we were going to die during that stream. But then today my storage is full. I think we've, we've knocked out all the problems. Yesterday I also decided that I was going to try using a new microphone, which I'm using again today. Uh, and everything was good with that according to the viewers. So I'd say we're on the up and up. I think it's, it's only up from here for our, our building. These are my pieces that I have left. Once all these pieces are on this set, we're all finished up and it's over. How's the, how's the angulation? Everything looking good? You can see the, the build. You can see all the stuff. I like it. Okay, let's, let's continue. Sorry to anybody that had to move streams. Luckily, I don't know what the percentages are, but a lot of people watch these streams afterwards when they're like VODs, videos on demand, and they don't have to worry about any of that. So they get to save themselves all the turmoil of, of, of the crash. I built two walls. That's what you missed if you're just tuning back in from the last one. <laughs> and uh, I'm putting the walls on. This is kind of cool because then you can open up the sides and get in there and play around if you want to. You can pull that nest out of there. That's easy to come out. Do, do I have that the right way? Oh, you put this at the top. My bad, my bad. Made my first mistake of the day, of course. We have walls, you can't see in there, but you can see him. I, I just, I don't know why I like that. Angulation is good, thank you, Emil. I don't know why I like that so much. It's just, he's, he's cute. He's just like chilling in there. He's kind of creepy, like come up a little bit. Oh yeah, creepy, I like it. The one thing I love, it's creepy Lego. All right, now we're going for the roof. Yesterday's build went pretty well. Uh, the rabbit I struggled majorly with. I don't know what was going on with that. I was just having like the worst build day of my life. Maybe it was, uh, maybe I need to eat a Snickers. It's probably the lack of carbs. My brain has nothing to, to live off of. So I was just trying to formulate how I'm going to build this thing and understand it. And it, the, the first half of that rabbit was terrible. If you didn't see this one, I know I showed this yesterday. Adorable. I love the Lego white rabbit. You can also make him a little floppy-eared rabbit if you're, you're so inclined. He's even cuter like that, right? And he's got, he's got articulation on articulation. He can look at you from every angle. He can punch you in the face if you need it. 
for not leaving a like on our live stream, our new live stream. But that is the rabbit that I built. The butthole tiger coming soon to a Bricktect live stream channel near you. Trying to decide, you guys, you guys keep tempting me into the world of Lego streaming, but there's a whole group of people out there that want to see me play Farming Simulator 22. Some of you, are, are we still good? Did this freeze up again? Are we still all right? My, uh, my stream's looking sus. I think we're okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm terrified now. It's got me like, I'm like constantly looking like, oh God, did it freeze? Are we gone? Are we good? Um, there's a bunch of people that want to see me play Farming Simulator 22. And I'm getting pretty hyped to do that. So I think tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to do that. Cody and Clark have this mother-son uh, art thing that they do. And I was like, oh, got the place to myself. What cooler thing to do? than to learn how to farm. It's gonna be my like first attempt doing it. I was thinking about maybe trying it out tonight just to kind of get the controls down and maybe like get my farm set up. But I like wanna get into to some digital farming. To some of you probably think it's lame. It's like, why would you wanna do work digitally when it's like, like that sounds to me like not a lot of fun. Like having to like earn money to like buy things. That sounds like a job to me. Well. Sometimes simulation games are pretty fun. So I'm going to try it out and see how it is. I've gotten so many positive reviews from people that have played. And I need to give it a run myself. So the Butthole Tiger, we've, we've got time. It's been sitting in the backlog forever. We've got time to build it. It's not an emergency, but I do want to get to that. Because I feel like we're on like this, we're on this kick here. And if I haven't scared enough people away with the, with the rabbit or the birdhouse, I want to scare them away with the, the tiger. That one will definitely get you. Next is the roof. This is going pretty darn quick. It really is. Yeah, it is, it is sweet so far. We're all good. Thanks, Emil. Doing pretty good today. I've had a couple just minor setbacks, but you can't let that stuff get you down, you know? I came into the stream looking forward to doing it. My phone runs out of storage space. That's just something that happens. Happens to the best of us. It happens to all the people that are digital hoarders that don't check their stuff. But yeah, another like I said, another problem is I have footage from our UK trip and I'm pretty sure it's backed up. It's just like the raw files of like, there were days when like my iPhone was out of space and this is an Android phone that I'm using here. So I ended up having to use that for some videos. Hey, look, we got our first block of the day. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just not even gonna, not even playing around today. Boom. Gone forever. I love the smell of a good block in the morning. Guys, let me give you some advice. Probably should have been a timeout. I'm, I'm a little harsh today. Um, if you come into a live stream and you want to say hi, you just say it once. Maybe say it twice for good measure. Eight times isn't enough. So, uh, goodbye to you, sir. I think once, is, once probably covers it. You can say hi to everybody. I like it when people say hi and where they're from. That's always fun. It's always fun to see when, where people are from. I guess I'm not playing around today, eh? Um, I would assume, though, if you come in... What did I do wrong on this one? I would assume if you come in and say hi 20 times, you probably don't have... And this, I, I'm going to say this as nice as I possibly can. You probably don't have much to offer in the way of conversation going forward. <laughs> so uh, we, will, we will miss you. Uh, Chris says, I look away for one second. Chris is like my... He's my, my dude. He handles everything for me here with the chat. Classy fella. I don't know how he does it all. But we've been having a pretty good record with, with chats lately. Everybody's been pretty cool, pretty chill. That's what I look forward to. We've got a lot of a variety of people here. We've got people that are, that are very young and people that are very young at heart. And if we can all just exist in the same space together without causing any grief, I think that'd be wonderful. And I think we can do it. I have confidence in all of us. Here's my roof, if you want to see it. i got to put two more pieces on. I kind of like this color. I said my favorite Lego color. Let me show you what my favorite Lego color is. This one's, this one's creeping up there. Um, I'm, I'm passionate about the blue colors. So this is my favorite Lego color, but I like this. This is like sand blue, I believe. These two together, probably my favorite too. I like a lot of trans colors, but I feel like that's kind of cheating. Like if you look at like... Um, I don't know, like trans, 
Oh, what's my, what's like my favorite one? I like, like trans blue is also cool. I'm, I'm really like, again, I'm partial to the blue colors, but that's cheating, I feel like. So we'll just say that that was my favorite color. But this is right up there too. I can go all kinds of blue. Linda says, my eight-year-old grandson just got these two new sets for his birthday yesterday. And he just finished building them all by himself this morning. Congratulations, man. He's autistic and has been obsessed with Lego since age two. I love that. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of embarrassed that he's probably a better and quicker builder than me. Like that, that you know, I'll accept that in my life. <laughs> but that's pretty cool that he got those. Let, let him know if he's watching this. I don't know if he's watching or not, or if you could tell him for me. Tell him he has great taste in Lego because these are the two best sets of the year so far. We, it's The year is young. I saw a set yesterday that Tiago reviewed that I am in on. You guys are going to have to let me know if you're in too. It's botanical wildflowers. How gorgeous are they? Ah! See, this is why your grandson's a better builder. I'm having trouble with putting this piece in. I love the wildflower set. I still have a bunch of those in the backlog. Like I have, why does that stick out? Oh, I see. I have the orchids back there. I've got the succulents. I might have one other one too. Oh, the the bird of prey or whatever that one is, something of prey, I have that one. So I have three of those in the backlog. That comes out February 1st. I don't see myself buying it right away unless there's a gift with purchase. If they can, if they're doing something in February, that might be my next thing. I got pretty much everything that I want from, from January. So I'm good for a while. We'll see what comes of this. I like the way that they're doing this roof though. This is cool. Tyler also likes the blue colors. The sand colors are awesome. Sand green, I feel like, I've seen it so much, I'm kind of tired of it. Transparent red, you guys like the transparent red. We've got a couple of those here too. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, all Lego is beautiful, right? It's hard to, as I smash my hand into that, it's hard to find Lego that you don't like. Sunshine says she's loving the wildflowers. Need to hint the hubby for Valentine's. There you go, that's a perfect time to come out. I wonder if that was their plan, Lego. You know what they're doing. They're like, let's put all these out right before Valentine's Day. And then all the wives can get them for their husbands. <laughs> or vice versa. That's a great idea. I should build some of the ones in the backlog. I love them just sitting around. I have, I have one on display. It's over here. I could take you on a little bit of a tour. Remind me to do that before we leave. I'll, sh I'll show you a little tour of the, the one flowers that I have out right now. Which is the bouquet. I love that one. I actually built that on a live stream many moons ago. Oh my gosh. Try to make a Lego stop motion. I, I don't have the patience for it. I get that recommendation a lot. I should probably do it just because so many people want to see it. But man, that's a lot of work to go into making one of those. And I just, I just don't have the interest in the, the time or, or patience to do that. I like making videos like sharing my, what I'm up to. I don't like making videos where I take a thousand pictures of something to make like a 30 second video. That's, that just sounds, sounds miserable. But again, I always say this, I appreciate the people that put the sacrifice and time into it. And those videos do really well too. Speaking of doing really well, we have our, our birdhouse is almost done. It looks like it's got a little bit of, a little bit of foliage growing around it, which is fun. Yeah. This set is, is good. Uh, Canadian series says, Hey dude, just finished my, Final for English. How's everyone on this fine Friday afternoon? Well, we're not doing top. Congratulations, man. I'm sure you killed it too. You probably would you would you get like a hundred ninety nine maybe? This is what I'm working on, Canadian. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Um, we got a little perch out front here. I love anything birds, and this is like this sets it. That's it for me. I can't wait to see what more Lego's doing. In fact, oh, speaking of birds, someone mentioned that they're making a parrot in March. And I was intrigued. I was like, a parrot, you say? And I went to look at it, and it's amazing. Shall I try to find a photo? Let me see if I can find a photo of it for you guys. Please hold. Please hold. Yeah, oh, shorts would be great for a stop motion. Maybe I should do one. Let me see. Lego Parrot 2023. Let me show you this set, guys. If you like what I've been showing you the last few episodes here, you're going to love this parrot. Take a gander. How cool is that? I absolutely want that set. It's got a little flower action below it there, too. That's going to be so great. 
I'm really hoping Lego does it nice to go through purchase. I would do that. I don't know how much that's going to be, but I would do that in the, the bouquet. Wouldn't that be great together? Have like a nice little display down here. It's so beautiful. I'm in. Canadian said he's been enjoying Clark's content. Yeah, Clark Man's over 500 subscribers on his channel. Isn't that wild? I th we have one video recorded from last weekend. Um, I told him I would edit it for him because it's going to be a bit of a complicated edit because we were making like a train track in his room and it was very, it was hard to get it exactly what we wanted. So there's a lot more footage than we need. <laughs> so I was going to edit that for him. It's going to take me a little bit of time to do that. Uh, but I also got some alternate footage for my next vlog that's coming out too. So you guys will be able to see the, the train track that we made. It was kind of like a going back to the old school days. Canadian loves the bird. The parrot. Janelle does too. Tyler likes it. Everybody, everybody's on board with the parrot. Speaking of birds, I'm building the little, uh, the little Tweety bird, the, ye the yellow one out of this next. So I'm excited about that. I don't know if it's weird to be like a, a grown dude and to be into these style of Lego sets. These are eight plus. I'm definitely in the plus range of that. But I like these. Where am I at here? Let me see here. Okay. Crater is one of those themes that I don't know if it gets as much love as it deserves. I love it quite a bit. I'm kind of on the same path with Lego Classic too. Lego Classic. I I've, have convinced myself that I'm not buying Lego Classic anymore because I have so many of the, like just the basic pieces that I, I certainly don't need anymore. I have enough that whatever I'm trying to build out of the pieces from that, and that's my main motivator for getting Lego Classic is like, yeah, I'm going to build a, a mock or do something. I like to have those pieces on hand. The only ones I'm going to probably get are like when Walmart does 50% off at Black Fridays. So I'm going to avoid Lego Classic going forward. But Lego Creator is unavoidable. One thing you could do with this, and I was talking about this a little bit yesterday, you could try to build this on your own using your pieces you have. Some of them you may not have, but you can make a more simplistic version of this. That wouldn't be any problem there if you're okay with it being a bit of a compromise. But you could not spend any money on Lego and have a great time. Even if you don't have any of your own ideas, you can just use the stuff that Lego comes out with. And you could have just as much fun as, as a guy that's building from instructions. Brick Beers and Beards. Love the name, dude. He says, trying to find the ideas bird set without paying an arm and a leg. What's it go for these days? I bought it back when it was actually out. It's so cool. It's, it's a great set for a display. Especially if you have the flowers, bouquets and stuff. You could have that sitting out. DB says, not weird at all. Proper old school Lego like when it... When we were younger, I think that's what draws me to this. You know, modern Lego, I don't want to sound like the old man or whatever, but modern Lego is so specific as to what it is. Like Lego Star Wars is a perfect example of that. This though, I mean, they have a lot more elements than they had back in the day, but you can imagine building this when you're a kid. Like, in fact, I have, you know, I've got these tan pieces over here. We could try to recreate this just using these pieces. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't have the cool angles and stuff like that, but you could easily find yourself making something like this. And these pieces would go wonderful in a collection where you're trying to just have the parts to build stuff. I think that's what I love most about this. And I feel like Lego Creator of all things, and if you go back to my history, I've been high on Lego Creator ever since I started this channel. I love from a deal tech perspective, if, especially if you're a kid or maybe you, you don't have a lot of money or a lot of sets, if you just want to build sets in general, you can not only build the birdhouse, but when you're done with that, like most sets, like that's it. You're done. Maybe you play with it. Maybe you don't. You could tear that down and you could build these other two things if you want to. And I love that. I feel like this is like the best value in Lego. And there's so much you could do with this creatively too that's just not even on the box. So for those reasons, that's why I'm in if we want to go Shark Tank on this. For those reasons, I'm in on Lego. And I think it has a lot to do with that. Talking to a fellow old school person here. Again, we've got people of all ages. They're all, they're all amongst us. Canadian says, I don't think it's weird that it'd be much weirder if you're obsessed with Ninjago or Mario that are designed for play. I don't think eight-year-olds appreciate good builds over minifigs and play. Hey, that's okay. There's a market for everybody. I'd love to, like, Clark likes Minecraft, obviously, so he, he's definitely in that school. I, so I agree with you on that. Here's our yellow bird. But he also likes building his own stuff, too. Little, uh, 
little Tweety Bird. Chickadee, I don't know what this one is. Obviously, I don't know as much about birds as what I need to know to uh, identify all of these. Maybe someone knows. The green one I was calling a hummingbird. But I don't know if that's even true. That's what we're building next. Is this like, is this it? Can't be. We're almost like down to the end here. I'm having too much fun. We, we must not end the stream. Janelle says she saw in the news that more than 20% of all toys now are bought by adults for themselves. I think Lego has seen that trend. My theory was that Lego was struggling with younger kids, like the modern kids that are into the world of video games. And as such, they were targeting people like me with disposable income, with higher price sets, which is probably true. But yeah, I mean, I, it, collecting toys isn't nearly as like embarrassing as it was maybe 10 years ago. Like the whole like ner nerdum, I guess, if you want to call it that, has become more mainstream. And adult collectible toys are a very popular thing. And I think Comic-Con has done a lot to, to make it more acceptable. And it, it's a cool thing to see. I've never really felt embarrassed with going to the store and buying Lego sets and stuff. I mean, I guess if anything, people maybe just assume that you have a kid at home and that's for them. But I just, you know, it, it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I put myself on the internet building this stuff, so sliding this across the cash register at Walmart is no big thing for me. But I could see some people being kind of self-conscious about it. I don't know if I'd go around bragging, like if I had a bunch of coworkers, I don't know if I'd go around bragging that I have an entire basement full of Lego sets and that's what I love to do. But even then, like if, if people are going to judge you negatively, and this is a message for anybody that's still in school. Yeah, Chris, Chris wants me to move on to the butthole tiger. Um, don't let people decide what you're going to do. Don't let them change who you are. That's the worst. And if you feel like you're around somebody that isn't cool with like, say you tell them you love Lego and they want to make fun of you for it, I think that's not a real friend. And you should maybe find a new one. Life advice. There's my, I gave advice in the last episode too. But it got cut off. It's, it's only a few minutes long. My advice in the last episode, I'll share it here again in case you missed it, because I probably will make that video private. There's no reason for that one to exist. Was whenever you're planning to do something, always plan for it to take twice as long as you think it's going to take. Those are the two pieces of advice that I have for today. That's all, all I'll burden you with. You didn't come here for advice. You came here to see this darn bird get built. And maybe you didn't even come for that. I don't know what you came here for, but I'm going <laughs> to try to give you that thing that I don't know what it is. Can you, guys, can you guys see it? Yeah, the bird's looking good. Move over a little bit. Our pieces are getting, pieces are getting puny. Okay, let's put some legs on this bad boy. He's got gray legs. Gray legs. Have I thought about trying to build a Lego Megazord that can split into each Zord? Yeah, I mean, basically that is Voltron. That was the Megazord that I dreamed of. I don't know anything about Voltron, never watched the show. But that set is absolutely amazing. I do want to build a miniature Megazord. Um, does Clark still have the pieces for it? Er, I don't know if we still have it on the table, but there was a set, it was a robot set that came out in 2022 that I think would be a great smaller Megazord that doesn't actually split. What? What am I doing with these pieces? What's going on here? We've got, we've got a little too much left here, guys. I imagine somewhere in the house these two 1x6s. We might be getting into the butthole tiger today. If you guys are feeling frisky, I don't know how long we've been going for. I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna need some love from you guys if we're gonna keep this thing going. First, we got to go back. There's a Lego snail if you want to build one. We got to go back and find out where these pieces are. It's a typical Brickitech stream where you have unintentional pieces left over. I imagine it's on the roof. Those two pieces right there. Oh, that was why I'm having trouble with this side. Those pieces lock this down. That makes sense. All good. It could have been worse. You guys want to see the butthole tiger at least get started. We're certainly not going to be able to finish that because I believe that that is actually more, more pieces than this is or somewhere close. That's like a, a $40 set or $50 set, I believe. Let's get this all decked out though. Let's not take away this thing's moment because we're all obsessed with the butthole tiger. <laughs> Where, what did I do to, to deserve this? Anyways, bringing it out here. This is going to sit on top. Try not to have bad things happen here. 
Oh gosh, is this even going to sit on here? Just have to have faith. Sorry if my, my head's getting in the shot there. Okay, that feels good. That's sitting on there real nice. The, that comes up. I'll get you guys right in here so you can see the Axion. See the Axion! With the Angulation. I got to bring you guys down and I'm going to bring you back up, okay? So put your seat belts on. We're going to go for a bit of a ride here. And the nice thing about this is my microphone doesn't change. So look, look at that. I'll move it back a little bit so you can, you can see the whole thing. How cute is it? All right, we've got a couple little spots left for our birds. They have one just standing on the ground. Um, you know what? Actually, actually, I have that on. I have that on ninety degrees wrong. This is the front. I was like, why are all the birds facing the wrong way? That's why. Okay, like that. And then we can put. Who's the cutest bird of them all? The green one. We'll put him up here. Can, can he fit with his wings back? Yes, he can. Have him like that. Oh my gosh. The cuteness level. This poor soul has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Um, how about the roof? Just have him, have him parked up here. He's just going to be chilling on the roof of the birdhouse. Get in there. Okay. Let me give you guys a little tour here of the finished birdhouse. Get all these pieces out of here. I don't want this ruining our backdrop, right? You guys can decide what's the best Lego creator set of 2023 so far. I mean, obviously it's going to be the parrot, but uh, we got the birdhouse in all of its glory. You got a little feeder over here with all the little food things on there. We got the little brown bird. We've got the cardinal. This one's my personal favorite. What's your favorite bird? Name you. I like that one too. Probably my both favorites. And then the little bird's in there just chilling. He looks like he's the baby of this one too. So I kind of like him on the outside. And then we've got this. So name your favorite set. Which one do you like better? Do you like the rabbit or do you like the birdhouse? I'm, I'm thinking partial to the birdhouse. I love you rabbit, but for an extra $10, these guys are saying this set's only 30 bucks. I think you need to go with the birdhouse if you have $30 in your pocket, if I had to go between these two. The rabbit was a fun build, but I think the birdhouse, it just, it feels like a, a nice piece to sit there, doesn't it? Like it feels like a display piece. The rabbit may be more playable though. He's more poseable, but then you can move the birds around. You can open this up. So that comes up and then I just, I just killed that bird. He's dead. But then inside there, you can see the little bird. Let's do it from this side. Oh, this should be fun. Ready? Oh God, he's gone over. Little birdies in there. You can see him from the back too. Love this set, man. $30 well spent, no regrets. Wait until there's a gift of purchase, though, guys. I'm sure something's coming up if you're thinking about getting this. I'm not even sure if it's still in stock or it's still backordered. But I love it. How deep are we? 30 minutes? Let's at least open the butthole tiger. What do you say? This is like a little bonus thing, eh? Birdhouse, says DB. I would go with the birdhouse, says Ann. Highly allergic to birds, says Action. So he's going to go with the rabbit, I imagine. He's going he's gonna to be the one of the ones that switches teams there to team... Team Rabbit. What else we got? Sold on the birdhouses, Christopher. I'm sorry if my if this stream hurt your wallet. My condolences. Janelle says, so cute. Can't wait until school gets out as my grandson and I are building the set today. I love that. That's going to be a, a core memory. Think about that. Friday night, you and your gram get to build a really cool Lego set. I like, I picture like having some pizza. I don't know. It's like in my mind, that's what I'd want to do. Maybe watch a movie while you're doing it. And then you just like cement that in as like a core memory. I just think that'd be so freaking cool. Anyways, I think it's time. Um, you're still going to be able to hear me, I think, as I, can, as I walk away. Let me know if you can still hear me. I'm going to walk into the storage room of doom. I'm walking through the studio right now. And I'm opening the door to the storage room of doom, flipping the light on. And I'm going to look for the butthole tiger. <laughs> oh, it's right here in front of me. Can you still hear me in here? I'm like in another room. Oh my gosh, guys. This is 755 pieces. Holy macaroni. How are we ever gonna finish this thing? Oh my gosh, this three in one, oh. I love it. Could you hear all that? Look at this. The butthole tiger, butthole nut, butthole nut pictured, excuse me. Uh, red panda, I'm assuming. Koi fish. I love it. I love, oh my, look at that dude. <laughs> we got a bird in here. Oh, you could go with the birdhouse. This is perfect. 
So cute. I love all these. I want to build that. I want to build the fish. Darn it. I need, a, I need more of these. Audio sounds like you're right behind the desk. Wow, that was, that's pretty cool. These, these microphones, I'll show you the microphone that I'm using if you're curious. I could have taken you with me, but I wanted to test that out. So this is a, a DJI mic. And the cool thing about this is there's a, there's a magnet inside my shirt here that you might be able to see. And it just, it's just magnetized there. So it's, it's on there like magic. And there's like a little receiver that goes directly into my phone. And the coolest thing about this, if I take you over here, um, it, it's all stored in this thing. Like it's, it's almost like AirPods. And um, you just open this up if I can. And all the stuff just gets stored in there and it charges it while it's in there. You can see the charge level. And there's another microphone in there too. So if Clark comes in and does a video, he could have a microphone on. Has a thing for your iPhone, for Android, and then one to clip on top of the camera. It's really cool. It's a really cool setup. Um, so I use that for my streams now. Isn't that neat? So now I don't have to worry about always being in front of the microphone. Because that's kind of a pain in the Bootholomus, you know? I'll show you the microphone that I usually use if you're into this kind of stuff. Since we're in halftime here, between our builds, uh, this is this is what I usually use. It's just like a little microphone that it's really good at picking up what's in front of it here. And if I take that off, you can see what it looks like. That's so there's not like wind that goes into it, but it's really good at picking that up. But if you go like that, and I'm like showing you this, no bueno, cannot hear there, kind of sucks. So I'm always trying to get myself positioned in front of this or to the side of it so you can hear. But the one that's on my shirt here, no problemo. You can hear me when I walk in the other room. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Maybe I'm, I'm probably more excited about it than anybody watching this. But, you know, let me have my, my fun. Speaking of fun, that was a fun build. Thank you guys for, for enjoying that with me. We just got a super chat, though. Oh, my goodness. It's from Ducky. The Ducky. I don't have any fancy technology here, Ducky, as you probably know. But he donated $7.99 in Australian dollars, I believe. He says, I've been watching Greg's World for a while. Keep up with the amazing content. Enjoy this donation. Well, thank you. I will. I'll put that towards our parrot. Yarg me hearty. I might dress like a pirate during that live stream. Just for Ducky. Thank you for, for watching the videos. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I don't know if I... What is this? <laughs> That's not a good sign, guys. Oh, lordy. Um... It has to be off the one of the birds, right? Oh, goodness gracious. That should not be here. That's not a piece that's supposed to be happening. Where did you come from? Oh, I see it. It's it's from his, his, his mouth. Sorry, I'm a bad builder, Ducky. I mean, this is, just, this, this is the life that I live here. Right under there. Sorry that I showed you guys this set when it wasn't actually complete. His little mouth. And now you, there you go. It just set, just went from like a 10 to 11, just like that. I'm putting him back on the roof. He's had a rough life so far. His mouth was never built complete. He got flipped on the roof. Things are rough. Let's move this to the back. So we'll have a little bit of space here. All the other pieces look like they should be there. We can get rid of this manual. You guys can see the, uh, the operation there. Now let's, let's do a little bit of an unboxing, I guess. I need my knife. Where's my knife? Oh, the Brick Tech unboxing knife. It's been with me since the beginning. Just when you thought it was over, please no punch tabs. Oh! My life sucks. <laughs> I'm just getting a drink here. Don't mind me. It just occurred to me you could probably hear me drinking too. That's, that's probably not good. Probably not great. Welcome everyone in the stream. I see we got more people joining us here. I just finished the thing that I was supposed to be doing, but now we're getting into the real meat and potatoes of Lego Creator, the old butthole tiger. And um, I'm gonna defeat the punch tabs. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. This is pretty dumb to even bother because I just flatten these boxes anyway. And sometimes this glue can be a real mother trucker, but I kind of just get in behind there. Always cut towards yourself. That way uh, you, you can, you know, die from internal bleeding. I don't think this is even, oh God, this is not going as well as I'd hoped. They get a little uh, rambunctious with the glue at the Lego factory sometimes. So my my plan sometimes doesn't go as as well as I hope, but that wasn't too bad. But I, I don't, why do I even bother? Just put, give me the tape Lego. Just put the tape on there. We're in. 
and uh, inside here, there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of bags, a lot of boxes. We're all clear, all clear. We'll put this in the background now. So I don't want to clickbait, clickbait people. ASMR. Honestly, if I did an ASMR Lego stream, it would probably do better than anything I've done before. So far, my most successful stream was Clark and I eating like 60 chicken nuggets. It's embarrassing. I've done, I've done all these Lego streams. My most popular Lego stream was just me eating chicken nuggets. My, one, for a long time, my most popular Lego video was how bad is it? A weapon video. <laughs> Look at that beauty though. Look at that. Let's, I'll, I'll save that. Here's the fish. You guys can decide if you like this three in one. This one's uh, probably a little weak. A little weak. I mean, look at that. He looks like he's from Minecraft, doesn't he? That tail. I do like the fish though. I would like to build that, but I can't. We've got far more important things to build and that's the butthole. Let's get to the, the part of the manual where you get to do that. Looks like that's his leg. So I'm assuming the torso is probably before all of this. Let us see, let us see. What is this? What is this? What is this? Where does his, where does it come into play? Maybe it doesn't completely show it because you're kind of working like that right there. If you guys can see, you can't really. Close the knife, safety third, says Chris. Safety third. I don't know if we'll actually get to see it. Maybe it'll just be a surprise. Like what, what step? It's hard to like just go into a manual like this and be like, oh, there it is. Oh, you scallywags. They show the front of it. I love the, the coloring on the sides though. Isn't that cool? The end of bag one, that's what we'd have. Let's, let's at least get our pieces sorted out and, and build for a little bit here. Um, just a little bit. What do you say? Wasn't supposed to necessarily start this today, but yeah, we, we only are 30 minutes in, plus the other stream. So let's get into bag one. Sort my pieces, chat with you, maybe do a couple steps, and then I'll send you out into the world to go conquer it and be awesome, because that's what you're good at. Hey, we can move this camera way back. I can get like a much wider shot than what I realized, because I don't need that like right beside me. Very cool. Very cool. I'm I'm sorry, I'm a little obsessed with my new microphone thing. Got the teal brick separator. Lame. We all know the orange ones are the rare ones. They never put them in there anymore. Do I watch a TV show of Doctor Who? I don't. I don't watch Doctor Who. But I know a lot of people that do and would probably tell me that I should, right? I should title the stream ASMR with in buttholes, not clickbait. Now we're talking views, baby. Oh, I didn't know these were printed. Awesome. I thought that was like some type of cool design that they did with the, the bricks. And it looks like some of it is, but not at the top. Not where it, uh, these ones are printed. These are plates. Very cool. His eyes though. I love it. Sorry. I'm a little, little, little into these kind of things. All right, we'll get our pink pieces. I sort by color. So if you're sorting, we can sort together. I could put the microphone right down there. We could do some ASMR with that. I wonder what that would sound like. Let's, let's try it out. Oh, my, uh, I just lost my magnet. There it is. So here's my magnet. You guys might not be able to hear me anymore. Let's, let's do ASMR. That either uh, deafened you or you really like that, one of the two. So here's how my thing works. Take this little magnet, you put it inside your shirt, like it clicks to the back of that, like that. Can you see it? And then you just put that on your uh, on your shirt. This is like re a really thick shirt and it somehow survives it. So there you go, a little taste of ASMR action for you. Uh, probably lost at least 20 subscribers during that. Thank you to everyone who else that stayed. <laughs> Oh, I should probably uh, should probably see myself out. But we'll get our pieces sorted. We'll do, uh, how many steps are we doing? Somebody throw a number out there. How many steps am I doing out of this? One, 30, 200. Was more ear bleeding than satisfying. I was, I didn't know. I couldn't tell for certain. 
Sorry, headphone users, you all died. Headphone users have died many times over on this channel. Nothing new to them, especially with Clark Mann back in the day. Screaming. This looks like the Cincinnati's Bengals is what this looks like. This is the Majestic Tiger, by the way, not the Butthole Tiger, if you're curious. Seven steps, okay, we'll do seven steps, says Ann. 12 steps, says Janelle. Let's meet you in the middle and I'll do nine and a half. Nine and a half steps. Step nine, I'll put half the pieces on and then we'll call it. Sorting, while very boring, is very helpful. I always say, like, I never used to sort my pieces. I would just dig around in here, but it really helps when you're looking for a particular color. I mean, some people sort, like, they, they narrow it down to just, like, the, the, the elements. I'm just like, you know, if it's a black piece, I'll dig around the black pile there. If it's a gray piece, dig around the gray pile. Look at all these ball joints. This is my favorite thing in Lego. Lego ball joints. If you don't know what a Lego ball joint is, let me show you the glory of it. This is, this is the death. How dare you? There you go. This is the definition of Lego action figures. Look how that's able to, to move and pose like that. I love that. They used to be called Mixel joints, I believe, is what people called them before. They, they, Mixels was not super successful. So now we are, uh, we're doing stuff with Mixels parts that are nice. This is what it used to be like. Let me show you the old school before they had that. All you old, old peeps out there that are old like me, look at this stuff, man. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is, this is the old days of ball joints, technically. You, you focus. You do your job. Look at that. Not nearly as fun, but functional. It works. It's, it's strong. But this is, uh, these are the back in the day type stuff. You can make like a little arm for a guy just doing uh, this. Got a little arm there. A little arm action for you. How about that? I like the ball joints way better. The best, says Lane. The best. I love them. No headphones here. You're on my big TV. Oh, God. Remind me that I'm on your big TV next time I show my face. I don't want to scare your family away. Or your, your cat goes hiding under the couch. So, um, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Nostalgic. I know. That's the Lego that I used to know. Oh, that's a good remix. You're just the Lego that I used to know. The Lego. Do, do, do. Uh, I'm not even going to try. we got a couple blue pieces. Look at all that orange. Clark told me that his new favorite color is orange. Formerly red. He's moved on to orange somehow. I'm trying to try a cool camera shot here. Let's try the, uh, the helicopter shot way overhead since we can. All right, so we'll go up here and we'll just go bloop. We got the, uh, the gigantic over the head shot. I need some space. Back up, back up. Again, if you guys uh, wanna see me stream tomorrow, I don't know if I'll be working on this or not, but I really need to get into my farm. So if you wanna subscribe to Greg's Arcade, who sponsored this video, it's linked down below. If you wanna go over there and support me while I uh, try to build a farm. Copyright strike coming in hot. You're just the Lego that I used to know. Song Attack would be a fire series. No, that would be instant. I, I would literally have no subscribers left. It would be a flood of people leaving. So our tiger, if you're wondering where the blue, blue and red's in, in the tiger, it's in the internals. Internals, not eternals. Not the bad movie that came out last year. I haven't seen it. I've been warned against it. Maybe you guys liked it. Are there any good movies out these days? I haven't watched like any movies as of late. What do I need to watch? There's gotta be something out. Sometimes I'll go to like the new, oh, Mellow Cat. I think Mellow Cat might need some cat food. She's looking at me. She's, uh, she's giving me the old stare down. This is kind of cool with this shot. So you guys can see it. Oh, we got uh, Canadian hits us with the, uh, the member for 19 months and the uh, chicky on emote or emoji, whatever YouTube calls them. They're emotes on Twitch. Emojis over here, I think. Yeah, they went a little wild with the interior colors of this tiger. They're like, what can we throw in here? What's in the pile? Avatar 2, solid. 
loved it. Watch that in 3D if you get a chance, guys. You're gonna, you're gonna, you can thank me later. It's pretty cool. Um, what's Oppenheimer? I didn't, I don't know what that is. I don't really see any ads anywhere, <laughs> which I guess is a good thing. So I don't even know like what's happening in the world. I rely on you guys to tell me like what's going on. What do I need to be into? This is how I get all my news too. Everyone's like, hey, did you see the new Lego parrot? And I'm like, what? And then I look it up on stream and I'm like, oh my God. Watch Christopher Nolan movies. They're the best movies of all time. I love Inception. That movie is friggin' awesome, dude. Just ordered the birdhouse from Amazon. Dang, I should have put my affiliate link down there. I didn't know you were gonna go and do that. Anyways, I don't have an affiliate link. <laughs> but you guys can, you can buy the birdhouse from amazon.com if you want to. Is it available at Lego right now or is it still back ordered? And you better tell me, Hannah, if that is 20% off, I'm gonna be very upset right now because I paid full price. I tell everyone, don't pay full price. And what do I do? I'm a hypocrite. I did it. The birdhouse. Uh, mental note, next time, put Amazon links. When I'm selling people on all these sets, I gotta be like, hey, you gotta use my, uh, use my fancy link down there. Buy all your, while you're there buying the birdhouse, buy yourself a big screen TV while you're at it. Yeah, yeah, see? Janelle says, I like older movies. Dude, I'm like overwhelmed. There's so many movies available. We have like all the streaming services for better or worse. And I'm just, I wish there was just like three movies to choose from. I just get on there and I'm just like, oh my God, I don't know what to watch. There's too many things to choose from and I get paralyzed by the, by the decision. I think Netflix has a thing though where it's like, pick something for me. Maybe I should just start doing that. I watched the show, the series, The Watcher on Netflix this week. That was my most, that was my recent watch. Don't do it guys. I talk more about it in my podcast episode, but don't watch The Watcher. It's a waste of six hours of your life. Out of stock on Lego, says Hannah, but Amazon has it. Okay, okay. Oppenheimer was the leader of the Manhattan Project. It's about the creation of Tom Alamo. Oh, okay, I know of that. I didn't make the connection. Born movies, Blade Runner. You guys have some very interesting taste. The new TIE Bomber is still on back order. I'm debating on that one. I got the 501st Battle Pack set just because I want to make a video trolling Star Wars people. Just for fun, because they, of all the people in the world, they don't know how to take a joke. Even if you tell them it's a joke, they don't know how to take it as a joke. And I just want to make that trolling them a little bit. The video is titled, Lego Made the Worst Set Again, or something like that. Uh, oh, uh, I, I'm sorry to the people that only wanted me to build like eight, seven steps. I'm now on step uh, 15, 16 actually, no. Step 15. <laughs> Get get a white plate. Lego is so easy these days. Man, you go back to some of those old manuals, it's freaking brutal what they want you to do in some of these steps. You're sitting there staring at it, comparing it. They don't even show you where it's going on at like they do in this. It's just like, it's just there with like 40 pieces added on and you're like, okay, did I, did I get them all? They don't show you the little window showing you the pieces you need. Lego is like really holding your hand. They're like, okay, take this piece. That's That's step 15. And now step 16 is you're going to put a couple pieces on it. I mean, this is for, it's for nine-year-olds. Clark man can handle this. No problem. Ooh, this step, this is a, this is a piece. This is where all the pieces come in. There's 12 pieces on this step. All these little slopity dopes. I go up there. Jacob says, I saw the new Hulkbuster at Barnes and Noble and on, and it's $50. That doesn't seem bad. Better than buying that big one for $500. I don't think 15 equals 9.5. Where have you gone to math class at? I'm pretty sure if you put in your calculator 15 equals 9.5, you will get the answer 9.5. Trust me, I'm very good at math. I know exactly how that works. Type in 15 equals 9.5. <laughs> I kid. And says, I remember the original Greg's gardening tips in the comments were hilarious. I was just like, oh my God, like, it, how, could you not tell that it was a joke? I lost a lot of faith in the intelligence of, of humanity through that video. And it was just like all the time. They're like, you don't know anything about Star Wars. They're not robots, they're droids. He's not a stormtrooper. <laughs> you know, they're just, just going off, man. It was, it was embarrassing. 
But, you know, it was probably six-year-old kids that were just beside themselves. And that is a part of YouTube. Just like that poor soul that I blocked earlier. He was probably just a little kid trying to trying to say hi a bunch of times. And now, he'll, for the rest of his days, he'll, he'll never be seen again. He's, he's lost forever. Just, I guess you got to consider those things. How do you do a half a step if it only involves one piece? I mean, obviously, you cut the piece in half. That's what I would have done. So, like, if you would have told me step 15, 14 and a half, I would have went to step 15, I would have cut that off right there. We just snap it, and then uh, when we do the next stream, I'm going to bring you guys down. I, I don't really like the helicopter shot. I'm, I'm learning things as we go. Uh, then I put the piece back together with super glue. Tell me you guys have never done that before. You never just snapped a Lego piece in half. Like say you got tired of building and you wanted to take a break, but you only wanted to do like step, you know, 63 and a half. You never just went ahead and snapped that piece in half so you didn't have to do the other part of it. I find that hard to believe. Just say hi once or twice. You can, I wish more people would say hi. We got dozens of people that watch the streams that they just, they just, what, what you call in the biz is lurkers. They're just hanging out in the background, just, you know, maybe just enjoying the stream, watching it probably while they're supposed to be doing school, or maybe they're listening to it in the car while they're driving home, or whatever. Maybe you have it on their big screen, so it's not really accessible to comment. And um, I'd love to hear from more people. Sometimes it feels like, uh, you know, there, there, there could be great conversations to be had. But I understand. You guys have other things going on. Oftentimes, like when I watch live streams, it's usually after they're no longer live and I watch like the next day. So that's a real bummer, especially if you want to participate in it. You're like, oh, that was, that was yesterday. That's why it helps to have notifications on, I guess. And then you schedule the stream and then it lasts for five minutes because your battery dies. That's happened. So I'm on step 21 now. Let's just build this whole thing. I can't do that though because I promised Mrs. Brickitect we're, we're trying to watch this show called House of Dragon, and it's not super appropriate for youngsters. So we've been trying to watch that while Clark's at school, and like we do it like before he comes home. So I don't have any more episodes we have, and it's like the only reason I'm really keeping HBO is just to finish that series, and it's taken us forever. We've been watching it for literally months. So today I am gonna I'm gonna end this stream and then we're going to go watch some of that. I have no idea what episode we're on. We're pretty deep into it though. I don't know if any of you have seen it. I hope not if you're very young because it's it's kind of violent. It's 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 what you expect from Game of Thrones basically. But House of Dragon is what it's called on HBO Max if you're trying to look it up. It's a pretty high production operation. I don't know what episode we're on. I'd have to have to see. We're I can I give us quick spoiler and maybe you could tell me what episode I'm on. I'll just say the king just died in the episode that we're on. That's not a massive spoiler because you know like it's coming. But he just died in this, this last episode at the very end. So um, what episode is that? DB says, silly me. Of course there's an obvious solution. Dark and red parts that used to happen not even by choice. Yeah, you get the brown pieces. They snap for you. It's like a luxury. That's what, that's kind of value that Lego provides. You know, you grab a, an old brown piece in your collection, snap that baby right in half. Right in half. All right, let's keep going. I, I can't have this lack of symmetry here. I feel like I need to build the other side of this. So we'll continue on. What time is it? 2.39. 2.39 for me. I always hesitate to say the time because now we'll get everyone saying it's, oh, it's, it's 10 a.m. for me. It's 3 p.m. for me. You know, it's all that stuff. End the stream and go watch House of Dragon. <laughs> says, says Chris, who's actually watching the stream. Was the next episode awesome or what? No spoilers. No spoilers, please. Am I like, is the next one going to be incredible? Where's my piece? Where's my piece for this? I might have to end the stream because I, I don't have the piece that I need. Did I, did I mess something up? Let me go back in time here a little bit. No, that's supposed to be there. I need another one of these that I, I don't seem to have here. Is there another bag one by chance? Oh, you scallywag. This is why I never throw bags away. Look at that. Just hiding in there. Didn't want to come out. It's your time. 
Your destiny is in front of you. The episode you're on ends with a banger. Oh my god. So, no. That means we're only going to have time to watch one. Clark gets home like right at 4 o'clock. It's going to end and then we're going to be like, <gasps> one more and we're not going to have time to watch it because it's not appropriate to watch with kids. All right. Well, we're going to finish off the symmetry of this. And this will give you something to look forward to for my next stream, I guess. Uh, if this is what you're looking forward to, seeing the, the butthole tiger in all of his glory. I'll keep building it live, I guess. I feel like if I'm going to build, I might as well do it. I mean, I could be doing other things right now, like watching something. But it's kind of fun, like, sharing this, I guess. You know? Kind of fun. Kind of funnish. Hopefully you're having fun with it. I just like, um, I just like building. <laughs> this is like therapeutic for me, and it's fun just chatting while I do it, I guess. Someday I'll run out of things to talk about. Hasn't happened yet, but it probably will. Chris says he had to wait a week to watch it. That's why it helps to be behind the times. When it comes to technology, Lego sets, everything, you're better off waiting. Because when you're on the cutting edge, you gotta, you're at like their, their uh, beck and call, you know? I don't want to wait a week. We will, uh, when Clark gets home, we'll send him right to bed. Get out of here. Go back to school. We got to finish this show. You would agree, though, it's probably not the best for kids to watch. Am I in the new Avatar sets? You know, it's funny you ask. My favorite set of 2022 is, is this one, right? It's, it's the birdhouse that I just finished building not too long ago. I, lo I love the Avatar 2 movie. I want to get the sets, but I want to get them at like 50% off. You guys know me. Deal Detect. I, uh, I don't like to pay full price. And those sets I, f I feel like aren't going to sell extremely well. So I'd love to walk into Walmart and just snag them all up for 50% for off. I just want the minifigs mainly. I want all the minifigs from it. But I would be down for getting those sets. Just got to wait for the right time to strike. That time will come. Jacob says, whenever I can't find a piece when it's in the bag, I feel like I'm about to burn the whole place down to find that piece. Uh, dude, I've been there. I, what I try to remember and I remind people when I'm streaming is that if you're missing a piece, there's like a 99% chance it's your fault. Don't like immediately be like, Lego, what happened? It's, it's always your fault. You either built something wrong, the piece is in the bag, you dropped a piece on the floor, something happened. And uh, it will turn up. Like I ended a stream once Oh, I think this might be our place to stop, boys. Let's see. What am I building right now? If it's going to make it non-symmetrical, it's going to trigger me. Oh, yeah. See, I have to build one side of this, and then we build the other side. I think this is our time. I think this is our time to, to wrap it, because it gets us all the way. For me to be symmetrical again, it's basically to finish this bag. How quickly can I finish this bag? Can I do this? How long is the next episode, Chris? No. No, I should stop. We got plenty of time ahead of us. We also have plenty of bags ahead of us. There's bag, bag two, bag three, and bag four. This is a pretty sizable set, 755 pieces. The butthole tiger. I don't know when uh, I'm gonna continue with this. Let me, boop, look at this, boop, maybe. Boop, there you go. I don't know when I'm gonna continue with this build because uh, I'm going to be doing some farming tomorrow on the gaming channel. So I don't know if I'll be doing this tomorrow. That's probably going to take some time. I feel like I, once I get into that game, I'm going to be into it pretty pretty substantially. Oh, we just got a super chat, though. It was the message was deleted. Rip, um, thank you for your contribution, though. Sorry. Um, we'll build this up. It'll be built probably, maybe work on it a little bit this weekend. Definitely beginning next week, and then I feel like the trifecta of Lego sets will be complete here. We'll have the the rabbit, we'll have the birdhouse, we've got the tiger, and then all we have to do is just wait for the parrot. And then it's like, Poof. I got like all the Lego creator in my life that I really need. And it's been fun. I, lo I love all these sets. It's been great building with you guys, hanging out, chatting. We're getting a lot accomplished. I'll make a video about all these. I think I'm just going to make a video like showing everything off. I don't feel like, I don't really want to make a video just being like, hey, here's the birdhouse, take a look. I'd rather just be like, oh, I built the birdhouse. The, you saw the rabbit, here's the butthole tiger, there's the butthole. That's pretty much all you need to see. 
So on that, um, I do hope you guys have a glorious Friday evening, if it is Friday evening for you. Have a great weekend if I don't see you. If you want to join my farming expeditions, I'll be doing that on Greg's Arcade. If you do a search for that or if you just if you look down below, I think it's linked maybe. Uh, we'll be doing some of that, learning, learning the game from scratch basically. So we can kind of do that together if you want to get in on it. And then uh, we'll pick this up probably like early next week. I, I try to do like a little stream throughout the days, each, each day of the week maybe. Like I, I shoot for 30 minutes, but then they become like, like an hour and a half. <laughs> I like it. I love this just to be like a show. Like it's 30 minutes long. People in the future can watch it. Don't feel like uh, it's overwhelming. They can kind of just be like, oh, cool, 30 minutes. I'll watch them build for 30 minutes. An hour and a half, though, too much. So we're going to cut it back. Appreciate all you guys coming in. Thank you guys for the super chatos. Thank you to everybody that's a member. Thank you to everybody that kept me entertained in the chat. You guys are pretty awesome. Have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys all in the next stream with uh, what we all really came here for. It's not quite pictured. You will see it.